let's have a look at some of these weapons that we've picked up over the past then. Um, so, I believe this is the one we started off with. I mean, I do, um, I do love that one. Let's have a look what it's got under pressure currently applied. Improved stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. Brilliant. High caliber rounds. Shots from this weapon knock the target back farther. Slightly increases range. Tactical map. This weapon has multiple tactical improvements. Slightly improved stability. Increased reload speed. No, we'll apply that one, I think. Um, scope. Circle. Red one. Long zoom. Increases range. Slightly decreases handling speed. Greatly increases range. Definitely. Fault shade. We've got no shaders. Legendary fusion. Yeah, no, all that's about. So, I do like that weapon. It's um, nice. Obviously, two hundred attack. It's the beta. Everything's got the same attack. Better devils. I just love that name. I don't like hand cannons though. But we'll have a look. Explosive payload. Projectiles create an area of effect, detonation, and impact. Woo! Fancy. Extended mag, blah blah, yeah. increase mag, drop mag, magazine drops on reload, wasting ammunition, greatly increased reload speed. No, don't like that one. Stability handling speed, increase, greatly increases handling speed, slightly increases stability, increases stability, handling speed, increases range, decreases, uh, probably leave that as it is again. Default shader, legendary infusion. Adaptive frame, well-rounded grit, reliable and sturdy. And was there one more? The Showrunner submachine gun. I haven't tried this one yet. I might give this one a go. I mean, it does look awesome. Dynamic sway reduction. Woo! I like that one. When holding down the trigger, this weapon's sway reduction system boosts accuracy and stability over time. Tactical mag. Um, this weapon has multiple tactical improvements. Uh, I think we've done that one before. Appended mag increases magazine size. That is probably the one I want to go for because I um, I like to just spray and pay, spray and pray. Hard to say in multiplayer. Dot micro increases range, increases handling speed, slightly increases range, increases handling speed, and increases handling speed slightly increases range probably keep that lightweight frames per handling move faster with this weapon equipped brilliant now pick this one up during the initial levels I don't know whether everyone gets it but it does look wicked um, let's have a look textured grip um, the friction this weapons grip is particularly strong greatly increases handling speed slightly decreases stability Sun blast targets killed with sunshot explode in solar energy. It's got accurized rounds. This weapon can fire longer distances, increases range. Chambered compensator, um, stable barrel attachment, increases stability, improves recoil direction, slightly decreases handling speed. And sunburn. This weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from sunshot. So I do like that one. It's currently equipped. I am going to have to try some some others though. Like the Red Mamba submachine gun. Look at that. That just looks wicked. And that's got tap the trigger. Steady rounds. High caliber rounds. Um, slightly decreases range. Increases stability. Probably keep that what it is. Um, it's got arrowhead break which greatly controls recoil we see these that increases range stability no so we'll keep that one as it is it's got arc weapon arc damage rather mod no shaders obviously legendary infusion what's this one lightweight frame again move faster with this weapon equipped um the urchin 3si well look at that doesn't that look fancy and that's got outlaw precision kills greatly increase re decrease reload time rather 
steady rounds and this one greatly increases stability slightly decreases range tactical mag slightly increases the stability slightly increases reload speed and slightly increases magazine size do you know what no keep keep that as it is and this one tactical sass slightly increases range and increases range decreases stability and handling speed and far point sass um, greatly increases range decreases stability decreases handling speed and that one's got solar damage mod and that one's a lightweight frame as well what else we got black scorpion 4 sr scout rifle now that looks interesting it looks like someone's turned a rocket launcher the wrong way around and turned it into a gun and um, that one's got moving target that increases movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights got tactical mag that slightly increases stability slightly increases reload speed and slightly increases magazine size steady rounds increases stability slightly decreases range um, no, keep it as it is. Full bore. So that greatly increases range, decreases stability, slightly decreases handling speed. Or fluted barrel. Greatly increases handling speed, slightly increases stability, but you lose your range. Wirehead brakes. Greatly in controls recoil, increases handling speed. And vase. Vist Rapid Fire, Full Auto, Deeper Ammo Reserve, Slightly Faster Reload when Magazine is Empty. Cool. That is quite awesome, actually. And that's got arc damage. Do you know what? I think I'm going to equip that one. And this one's the same one twice I got from the Crucible, so we'll just check it once. And that's the Deathstalker 4AU Auto Rifle. Now that one is quite good as well. Dynamic sway reduction when holding down the trigger, this weapon sway reduction system boosts accuracy and stability over time. Accurized rounds, um, this weapon can fire longer distances and include increases range or steady rounds. Magazine is optimized for recoil control, greatly increases stability and slight decrease in range. I'd say that's a massive decrease in range. What's that? That's 25%. About 25% reduction in range, that's not slightly. Anyway, arrowhead break, um, extended barrel or fluted barrel, and this one's got solar damage. Let's just see what the damage is on the other one. Is that solar as well? Yeah, both solar damage. In terms of the power weapons then, um, I've got this one selected, which is a grenade launcher, the Acantha D. And that one, let's have a look what this has got. Pulse monitor, so automatically reloads a portion of the magazine when wielder is critically wounded. Um, mini frags grenades are smaller and more compact for easier reloading so that increases the magazine size and increases the reload speed or we've got thermoplastic grenades grenades fired from this weapon bounce further increases stability increases projectile speed well do you know what that's a no-brainer i think that one's more than um i think that's that gives far better yeah far better stats than the other one so, Volatile Launcher then. This weapon is optimised for an especially explosive payload. It greatly incre increases blast radius, slightly decreases handling speed and slightly decreases projectile speed. Or oh, we've got Confined Launcher. So, weapon's launch parameters are particularly stable. Greatly increases stability, increases blast radius speed. No. Velocity and blast radius over stability and handling. Probably better to keep that. Solar damage. Doesn't look like there's any shaders available for that one, but it is a it is a sexy beast anyway. 
I do like that this has been kept pretty, pretty much the same as the original Destiny. I do love that. And the Copperhead 4SN scout, um, sniper rifle then. Firmly planted, increased accuracy, stability and handling when fi well, firing while crouched. Tactical mag. Um, we've done, we've covered that before. Reload speed. Probably better off with that. Full bore, small bore, or arrowhead break. We'll go small bore. Solar damage. No shaders. I don't know if you can pick up shaders or not. Other people may have done, but I haven't looked. And there's our ghost. Ooh. Random mod. Can you do anything with this? A mod with randomly generated update upgrades. Ooh, cool. Look at that. Ooh, sexy ass. Anyway, that was weird. Um, let's go out. You can obviously do shaders and so look. Frumius mask. Plasteel reinforced mod increases resilience. Or restorative mod increased health recovery. Let's have that one on. Obviously, you can shade these, infuse them. Mobile hunter armor. Brilliant. The Frumious Grips. Uh, mobility Enhancement Mod. Increased Mobility. Increased Resilience. We'll keep the Mobility. What have we gone then? Resilience 2. Mobility 10. Recovery 1. So, let's have a look at the Frumius Vest. Health recovery. We've got resilience. Let's change it to that. No idea really what I'm doing here, but I don't want all mobility, do I? Resilience, yeah, let's get some more resilience in there because we've got loads of mobility. And this cloak. I mean, I, I always play as a hunter just because I love these cloaks. And I love the kind of pearlescent, oil slicky kind of look that it's got going on there. Absolutely love it. Got no shaders. Um, I'd love to buy a shader. But anyway. Legendary shards. Remnants of powerful items used to improve gear or trade for other items. And obviously Glimmer. We know what Glimmer's about. Arc Strider or Gunslinger. We can be fired up to six times. Didn't you only get two shots before? Well, yeah, I like that one. I mean, this is cool, this Arc Strider thing with the um, the Arc Staff that you have. It l does look wicked, but <sighs> Gunslinger is always going to be my favourite. Let's have a look in there. Ship. Is that one. I mean, that looks a lot better than the original ship from Destiny, emotes, Hunter's Wit, right. So, that's everything then. Um, I'll leave that there, and if you like and subscribe, obviously we'll do more Destiny 2 beat content over the duration of it, and obviously we'll get some more gameplay. I'm going to do a net... The next one I'll do is going to be a, comp a campaign play through again with the first couple levels as a titan then I'll do another one as a warlock just just see what they like just for my own benefit and I may as well put them up there I'll do more crucible stuff even though I'm absolute garbage at it like really really bad I know everyone everyone on YouTube that is um, 
they're they're excellent here. They go, oh god, I'm so bad at I'm so bad at multiplayer. Oh no, look at that, 92 kills and 15 deaths. Oh no, <laughs> it's terrible. Sorry guys for my bad performance. And then they're like, they're always top of the scoreboard. I'm legitimately poor. Like, go and look at YouTube. The last one I did, I finished bottom, absolute bottom. I play fun. I don't care about whether I'm top or not. I, I don't. I don't really care. I'm too old to care about that nonsense, me. But anyway, until next time, I've been Mama Herald. Thanks for watching. See you later.